in the last video i in the last video i asked the question what is the limit of star star is given by this and i wanted to know what is the limit of star was and the answer to this question will be given in this video so the answer to that question is known as extremal all right this is known as the extremal types theorem or e t t for short okay so it says the following suppose So please let me write it down then I will explain what this means
Alright, so this is this result is is known as the extreme most types theorem and it says the following that that if the limit of star exists, that is star is, is what I said in the previous slide. So if star is equal to g of x, where g is a non-degenerate CDF, I will explain what that means. A non-degenerate means something that is uh, uh, something that is that that is in a neat form i mean a degenerate cdf is is something it takes the value zero or one right so a non-degenerate cdf is 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 something that is not equal to zero or one so something that is that's a that's a useful cdf that's what non-degenerates non-degenerate means so if g is a non-degenerate cdf then it must be of the same type. I will explain in a minute what same type means. It must be of the same type as one of these three. So this one, this one is known as the Gumpel type. All right, this. And this one is known as the Frechet type. And the third one is known as the Weibull, Weibull type. Okay, so these are the three possible limits that you can have for star. So when, whenever the, the limit of star exists, right, whenever the limit of star uh, exists, it must be one of the three either the Gumbel type or the fresh air type which is good or the Weibel type um, okay guys so in the next slide I will talk about what what I meant when I say when I say the word same type this word same type I will explain what that is in, in the next slide Okay, so let me so give me give me give me a sec. So in the, here I will talk about the definition definition of same same type. So the definition of same type, okay? You say that two CDFs, so suppose you have two cumulative distribution functions, G1 and G2. So these two CDFs, G1 and G2, are of the same type if G2 of x is equal to G1 of ax plus b, right, for all x. Where a a must be a positive real number and B B can be any any real number okay so this is the definition of same type. so two CDF G1 and G2 are of the same type if this is true for A positive and B any real number so let's look at examples so let's say example 1 
So suppose your G1 is equal to is equal to this, right? And suppose your G2 is equal to is equal to this. And clearly these two are of the same type because because your A, your A in this case is equal to 2 and your B is equal to 4. So A is positive, B is, B is a real number, right? So, so hence G1 and G2 are of the same type. That's example one. Let's look at example two. So here, let's take G1 to be to be this. And let's take G2 to be to be this. So in this case, your A, your A is, is equal to minus 2 and your B is equal to 3. So A is clearly not clearly not positive. A has to be positive. So that means here G1 and G2 are not of the same type. So these are two examples on what I meant by same type. Right, so going back to the extremal types theorem, which is which is what I said over here, what it says is that once again this that if the limit exists, right, then for for non-degenerate CDF G then G must be of the same type as one of the three classes, the Gumbel type, the fresh air type, or the viable type. Right. In the next video, I will talk about how, how to figure out which of the three types that that which of the three types will be attained. That is, I mean, what this ETT says is that it says that if the limit exists, then G must be one of the three types, right? But how do you know which one? Is it going to be Gumbel type, or is it going to be a fresh air type, or is it going to be viable type? And how do you check that? So I will talk about that in the next video.